Here we are. And what is this, a Thursday at 4.30? Yeah, so where are you going to... Uh, Go out to eat. You're the you're the king of going out to eat. All you ever do, you eat breakfast out. You don't eat lunch, but you eat dinner out. What are you gonna do? All the restaurants are closed. I do eat out a lot, and I have my favorite places, and I miss them. You know, like so, well, like Beeline, like uh, Welcome Diner, closed, closed, like the Cup, closed. But I'm gonna support them by getting takeout okay. because those are businesses that need our help and. You know, I'll do what I can. Well, you're Mr. Tucson. But, I mean, I've, I but now I've come to really appreciate Johnny Gibson's because they have everything I need and it's on my way home. So that's my daily stop. Yeah, and, la and yesterday you came home after doing an errand. You came back to the gallery after doing an errand. You didn't bring us anything. What's uh, up that's with that? true. I, I didn't. That, you, that didn't was, you didn't call. You didn't that, bring that coffee. Was, nothing. That, that, that like was here. kind of selfish on my part, except I can only carry a certain amount and, you know. I'll get it next time. Okay, whatever. I'll get it next time. Let's we talk don't need, about... We don't need sanitizer. No, we do have hand sanitizer. And we're in pretty good shape toilet yeah, paper-wise. That's true. So, so we we're, we're good. That's true. You know. What okay. about the gallery? There's no one in the gallery. Let's talk about well, uh, art in the time of coronavirus. Well, the gallery for, for now, at least in the short term, is open regular hours, Tuesday through Saturday, 11 to 5. And even if I'm the only one here, I'm going to continue doing that because I would just soon be here as home. But no, but the what, thing is, you know, you know that it's. I think for us to be open right now is is not being irresponsible because there's only a few people at a time in here. Right, and, and we're also limiting. Space. We're limiting the number of patrons. We're limiting to the 10 amount of patrons people coming in. And we, and we have hand when sanitizer. When the mobs are at the door, we're only going to let ten people in at a time. That's right. I'm, I'm, but we have a great show up right now. I mean, this is one what of the best the shows What about the title we've had. of our show? The title of our show, Go Figure. Is that the most pressing title that we've uh, Go managed figure. to come Who up with? Go Figure. Who knew we would be where we are right now? Go Figure. Yeah, so... Uh, well, and the thing that's, for me, that's really weird is it could be totally different tomorrow or the next day. You know, we're just having to sort of adapt to this on a daily basis. I know. But we're going to be flexible and we're going to see what goes on. But for now, the gallery is yeah. open. Yeah. Um... Who's and, in the show? Well, this show features two really great Tucson artists, Jack Ballas, who splits his time between Tucson and Denver. Mm -hmm. And this is all fairly recent work. Um, we have not shown Jack before. We've had his work here, but we haven't really shown it and aired it out like this. So I'm really extremely happy with this part of the show. And then Titus Costanza, who we've showed before, but not this work. This is... These are all very large, like 40 by 60 collages that are rather amazing. Titus and Bacchus Costanza. Titus Bacchus. Note. Is his middle name Bacchus? It is. Wow. That's right. I know. Love uh, that. Well, he must be French. <laughs> <laughs> so Titus's contribution are 12 big collages that incorporate drawing, painting, photography, found objects. Just They're, they're amazing and they have to be seen in person to really be appreciated because there's so much detail in these things. Right, and we've shown his other formal paintings before here, but nothing yeah. like this is completely new work for him. He's got in mind new. all of his papers and drawings and studies, and there's, there are some small canvases within the collages. Uh, there's writing, there's old girlfriends, there's self-portraits, all that kind of stuff in those. Yeah, so that's the in the main gallery. And then what and, about our, our husband and wife duo? Well, from we are Mexico. showing Holly Roberts, who I started showing in 1982. So we've had a very, very long history with Holly, although we haven't shown her in probably five or six years. Mm -hmm. So this was an opportunity. I thought her work would, would, would fit nicely in with uh, Titus and Jack. And so we have a selection of about 20 of Holly's pieces from the past couple of years. And we're including her husband, Bob Wilson, Dr. Bob, who we've never really shown this like this with this much uh, floor space dedicated to his sculptures. Robert Wilson Robert is a Wilson. retired medical doctor. He, is a, he was a physician for many years. He retired five or six years ago, and now he's devoted a lot of his time to being an artist. And so we have about, I don't know, a dozen pieces of Bob that range from six or eight foot long dogs to small little metal pieces. Um, so it's, it's, it's interesting to see Bob. Should we call him Chainsaw Bob now? <laughs> well, 
The bigger pieces start with chainsaws and end up with chisels and sandpaper. But Some it's of the work plays show, off very well with each other, too. Well, Bob said to me when he was unloading his truck, he drove all this stuff over from Santa Fe last week and in the back of a pickup truck all covered. And when he pulled the covers off, it was all of these sculptures fit in the deck of a, the bed of a small pickup, plus all of Holly's work was in the cab. And as we were taking things out, he goes, you know, Holly and I have one brain. And when you look at this work, there's such a connection just in terms of the visual... Uh, the visual content of both of their work was a big, big overlap. Definitely. And uh, I, I didn't realize how much of an overlap until we installed it and stood, stood back and took a look at it, which is why people need to come down and walk through the show to really fully appreciate it. And they should be six feet away from each other, don't you think? And Yeah, no touching. You can't touch anything in here. Yeah, no touching. So as long as people come services. in and they don't cluster in groups and right. they don't touch anything... I you know I think I think for now we're fine. I mean things could change, and if they change, we'll we'll do the responsible thing. But right. don't touch anything. But we might show you a photograph while they're here. Yeah, if they but want we'll, to see we'll do the touching. Yeah, you know, from six feet away. I suppose. And we do it. We do still have photographs here, right? We have a few photographs here. <laughs> uh, a few thousand photographs. Here. <laughs> and I'm happy to go through every one of them. I think you know since you know this is since it's slow. And we don't have an art fair coming up and all of that, that I'm trying to figure out what can I do to be productive. And I'm going to go through the entire archive of these boxes and make sure that every box that's labeled has in it what the label says has oh, in it. Oh, sure you are. No, You're I going am. to start I'm, that tomorrow? I'm going to start yeah. it. Okay. I'm going to start as soon as we get done oh, here. Oh, good. We're going to film you doing that for sure. Definitely. No, but I, you know, I feel like we all need to be productive during this time. And that's the one thing that I usually don't have time to do that, but now I do. So, uh, that and Netflix. All right. Well, <laughs> I think I'll go home early then. <laughs> but we're open. You guys come down. Come down and see come us. Come down. We're yeah. open 11 to 5, Tuesday through Saturday, until further notice. Correct. Check out our website. Follow us on Facebook. Artsy and Artnet. Artsy and Artnet. See you there. Yep. And all of our... Uh, Social media platforms at Etherton Gallery and, on and keep Twitter watching and our website because we'll do some Instagram. little video things like this periodically and keep adding them. Yeah, stay tuned. We've got much more planned. And if you have suggestions about what we you would like to see, let us know. Yeah.